Vamos a bajar y tañamar en Magora Paro a Gorrio Como San Boja Carrio Ani bacha vamos yo Bacha bebe lingo Iringo ma Bacha bebe lingo Yang tinte de zeni Yang oba yo 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 Nema seipos Yang oba yo 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 Nema seipos Shiganzi si muza die Team that will take part in our first test in the World Cup qualifier campaign that will be held on Saturday at Harare Sports Club. 1.30 is the kickoff time, but just for your information, tomorrow there will be another press conference. At this stage, we'll invite the media. There will be a kit presentation by the, sort of by the President of the Union. Thereafter, uh, a team photo, and then uh, the captain. Uh, and coach and manager will be available as well to take questions. So at this stage, just to welcome you, say thank you, and hand you over to the manager of the Sables, Kisa Tichirin Thank you, CEO. Good afternoon, all. Uh, on behalf of the head coach, uh, Peter De Villiers, and the assistant coach, uh, Brennan Dawson, I'm delighted to announce the following 23 to take the field against uh, Morocco on Saturday. Number one, Denford Mutamangira. Number two, David Makanda. Number three, Farai Mudariki. Number four, Kudakwasha Nyagufaringwa. Number five, Fortune Chipendu. Number six, Takuzwa Mandiwanza. Number seven, Kona Pritchard. Number eight, Tafuma Parirenyato. Number nine, Hilton Mudariki. Number ten, Linians Tambuera. Number 11, Matthew McNabb. Number 12, Brandon Mandivenga. Number 13, Kudzai Mashawi. Number 14, Takudza Okumadiro. Number 15, Shingi Kateri. The following will be on the replacements bench. Number 16, Matthew Mandioma. Number 17, Gabriel Sipapata. Number 17, Lawrence Clementon. Number 18, Brian Nyawude. Number 19, uh, sorry, that's number 20, Jabulo Ndobu. Number 21, Peter Dutoy. Number 22, Ngoni Chibue. And lastly, number 23, Dylan Baptista. I'll now hand you over to uh, the head coach. <coughs> any comment? Any questions? If you have any questions, please direct them to the technical staff. Yes, Daniel. Okay, the, uh, the coach, uh, how difficult was it to come up with uh, the final 23 for, for this game against Morocco? If I can rephrase your, your question, how difficult was it to lift out four players? That was the most difficult part. They all capable, they all had the same standard. And um, yeah, it, it took some soul searching and hard work for us to go find out what. Morocco can offer and who will be the guys that we think that can go do the job for us in this in this game. So um, yeah, it was very difficult to leave out four, four players. Uh, thank you, coach. Uh, maybe just as uh, looking forward to this game uh, concerning Morocco, have you seen how they play and do you feel that the squad will be able then to match up against Morocco? Yeah, definitely the squad, the squad will be met. Any, any team that play against them. Um, what we did for a few weeks now is we got them prepared and your team are prepared. The biggest challenge for three days now for me and, and Dozi was to get them ready for, for anything that might happen, any, any, anything. And at this moment in time, I think we've done a good job. Um, because they can come up now with answers that I didn't even think of. So I think they will be ready to, to go do the little the little things that's been expected of them to get a big outcome in this game. So yeah, I can I can with confidence say to you that that we're ready for this game. Sorry, um, not specific to this game. Um, 
there's a huge weight of expectation on this team, given that they have you in the technical team. Uh, are you feeling that? How how do you take that? That that expectation that the whole nation is basically looking at you to deliver this, to to steer this team to the World Cup. Yeah, the last part of your question is actually the most important part for me. This game is not about me. This game, this game was never about an individual. This game was always about those who've been placed by God in a situation where they can, with their talents, um, do to the best of the ability that has been set out for them. At this stage, I can, I can actually step aside. I can get on the plane now and go to Morocco. And the guys will still go do the same thing because they do understand, firstly, that they represent themselves, thirdly. It's first the country, and they want to play an ambassadorial role at this moment to make everybody feel that there's hope through, through sport, there's hope in this country. Secondly, they want to do it for their families, and then thirdly, they want to do it for themselves. So, so that makes me feel that I'm in the right, the right place. Um, every morning I wake up, I, 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 I praise God for the fact that, that I wake up. But then, hour after that, I start cursing in myself. Why is it only 10 o'clock? I need to be with the boys at 7 o'clock tonight. And um, I gave them off a week after we had a camp in Joburg. And they called me during that off week. They do want to go do the best for this country. And they do understand that there's so much hope that the people of our country need at this moment. So, so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a road sign at this moment. Um, if they want to, don't want to stop at this top street, it's fine. They know what the consequences will be if they don't do it. And that makes the team in a good space and you and everybody who supports them. Christian uh, Fabrosi, there's a lot of physicality in the, in the Gold Cup. Uh, tell us about your forwards and how ready they are for the, for the entire quest. Yeah, I think um, our forwards are really are, are ready for the confrontation. Um, our scrumming yesterday went very, very well. Um, our lineups this morning went well. So, yeah, I'm very confident that our guys are prepared and, and are, are, are adequate to take on those guys. You know, what a lot of people do do is they underestimate the quality of rugby players that we have in this country. And, you know, our, our size of our forwards are also massive. They, they're Zimbabweans. Let me tell you something, our guys are big men. They're strong, they're physical. They love that confrontation. They love... Um, I would rather want to talk about the work that he put in. Um, I'm telling you now, him and McNabb, the two young youngsters in the team, um, they actually grow so much. I, I can tell you now that the humbleness in those two guys, how they, how they just want to learn from the senior guys. Uh, I'm telling you now that um, uh, you don't have to worry about Shingi. I think you have to worry about how we're going to stop this man. <laughs> Uh, when you were appointed, uh, you mentioned that the style. Answering that question, um, I want to invite you <laughs> to be there as early as possible to get the front seat and don't have. To, because if you blink, you're going to miss a lot of things. The way those boys are are, are running at the moment. Yeah, um, <clears throat> coaching is coaching is not something that's out of the ordinary. It's about the lifestyle. It's about where did you grow up and what you do best and, and how can we use the whole you <coughs> so that it can be an asset for the team. But Zimbabweans are natural athletes. So if you change those kind of things, then you take away that, that, that edge that they do have over the rest of the world. So we try to consume some, some, some and then to put the right structures in place, game plan in place, so that it can fit their style of play. Like Dorsey said, the forwards like that physical confrontation, so we had to build that in to keep them in the game, otherwise they won't be there. But the backs again, they, they like that flair, and, and, and I'm telling you, 
the lines that they are running, well, we're not doing it with, op with opponents here. And I do understand it's going to be very much different um, on Saturday. But what I can tell you is that if they do what they showed us they can do, they're going to be a contest for around about 50, 60 minutes. And then I think that they should, should be able to, to, to go do what they, what, they, what they actually do best. So, um, yeah, I'll be there, and let us talk about this next week again. I think you said what, you were a bit nervous, and I think it's even better as well. There's a bit more confidence about you now, in the side. So, <coughs> you're going to ask in the larger scheme of things, qualifying for the World Cup, Morocco is the first game, but we've got teams that are coming up, Kenya, Namibia, tougher games, maybe, on paper. So, how are you approaching that? Is there a bit more confidence now with you, once you've seen the boys? Yeah, lucky, lucky for us, um, we don't play this game on paper. <laughs> so, um, if it looks tougher for you on paper, it might not be when we get there. The one thing that we almost understand here today, this is our team. We're going to make it work for ourselves. But the greatest thing is, this is only the first game. We can also grow as the campaign is going on and, 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 and getting tougher. And um, the one thing that that most of the players that we have identified do have is they made for the tough times. Um, the tough it will get, you can see, we played in, 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 in Joburg and then there was no scrums, for instance, and you could see the forwards couldn't, couldn't be part of the game because there was no scrums. So the tougher it becomes for us, then everybody understands his role and responsibilities. For us, our main goal is to try to go win this game, get it behind ourselves and put on a mark of ourselves to know where we are and where we should be to, to get the, uh, the country uh, behind us and to make everybody proud of, of the players. So yeah, I, if you see a confidence in me, um, I'm happy because, because, you know, I'm not that confident at the moment. I'm confident in my players, but I don't know enough of Morocco and... Um, Confidence can, can, can actually be your biggest enemy if you go out there. So, so yeah, we will work hard to earn that right to be confident. All right. How are you feeling about Saturday? Um, very excited, of course. Um, I've sort of had a bit of time off at the same for about two years. So I'm, I'm very keen to, to get stuck in again. Uh, what is motivated you to come back? Oh, well, I sort of had uh, club commitments in the last two years, but then obviously um, getting uh, Peter, Peter calling us back to come play uh, is something that we, is something that I'm really excited about. And yeah, you know, it's obviously a big year for the Sables. So yeah. How's it? Um, how does it feel getting your your, your first cap for the Sables? Um, yeah, obviously, being the youngest and being brought up by all the senior players in the team, they're taking me in really well. Um, it's been a really great experience and great road I've been on so far. Um, obviously, leading up to this test on Saturday, it's going to be a, a big game. Um, I'm looking forward to it a lot. And, yeah, I'm, look, I'm really excited to, to go out there and play for my country. Obviously, it's the first time for you to be with the national team. Um, what happens behind the scenes? Any fun moments that you've enjoyed? Yeah, no, definitely. It's been on. I mean, this is the third like camp that we've been in together, and like obviously staying in on our camp in Joburg and at Falcon, and obviously now on Test Week, it's been really. I've obviously made lots of mates um, behind the scenes of being off the field. Um, the guys have taken me in, as I said, and it's, I've made quite a few memories and I'm looking forward to, to making many more. Of all the players, the senior players that you had, the likes of Fortune, the likes of uh, Denford, which one of these guys has had the greatest impact in terms of your confidence and in terms of athletes? Um, I would probably say uh, Farai's brother, Hilton. He's really, he's really pushed me to limits, I mean, on and off the field. Uh, Denford's also had a really big impact on me, obviously as well being the captain. Um, yeah, he's been, I, I'd say those two have really made a big impact in, in my game.
Soraya, I asked you this a couple of years ago. What's it like playing with your brother? That was then, and how is it playing like with your brother now? Um, I'd say a few people get the opportunity to do this, so we were very blessed to 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 play uh, with each other. So um, I'd say it's still the same. It's one of the probably my biggest rugby highlights uh, thus far. Um, definitely uh, playing with my brother. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get back on the field uh, with Hilton and yeah, excited, really pumped. Your brother is very pushy. How do you handle him putting you under pressure in, during matches? I don't think um, I don't think he has to put a lot of pressure on me. Um, I know the I know the standard. So a few words here and there, but I, I, I'm I'm clued up. I know the standard, so he doesn't have to push me that much.